Hello friends. In this video I'm gonna show you all the coins that circulated in Malaya and British Borneo during the middle of the 20th century, as well as some information about their price. The region of Malaya and British Borneo was located in Southeast Asia, in the current territory of Malaysia, Brunei, Singapore, and Indonesia. The Malaya and British Borneo dollar was the currency of Malaya, Singapore, Sarawak, North Borneo, Brunei, and the Raya Archipelago from 1953 to 1967, and was the successor of the Malayan and the Sarawak dollar. This currency was issued by the Board of Commissioners of Currency of Malaya and British Borneo. In 1953, coins bearing the new design of Malaya and British Borneo were released. The 5 cents and 10 cents were released in 1953, followed by the 20 cents and 50 cents in 1954. The square-shaped 1 cent coin was released in 1956, and six years later, the new 1 cent coins bearing two Malay daggers on the obverse were introduced. All these coins shared a similar basic design depicting Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse and denomination on the reverse. However, the Queen was replaced with two daggers on the smaller round cent of 1962. These coins carried the same design features and sizes from the coins of the previous Commissioner's Currency and Strait series, making them relatively unchanged in appearance, except for the depictions of the British monarchs. The one cent coin is made of bronze, with a weight of 4.2 grams, and a diameter of 23.4 millimeters. I have the one of 1956, and the mintage of that year was higher than 6 million coins. The one cent of 1962 is also made of bronze, with a weight of 1.9 grams, and a diameter of 17.7 millimeters. The 5 cents and the higher denominations were all made of copper nickel. The 5 cents have a weight of 1.4 grams and a diameter of 16.2 millimeters. 20 million of these coins were minted. The 10 cents have a weight of 2.8 grams and a diameter of 19.5 millimeters. My coin is the one from 1956 and 10 million coins were minted that year. The 20 cents have a weight of 5.7 grams and a diameter of 23.5 millimeters. 32 million of these coins were minted in 1961. The 50 cents have a weight of 9.3 grams and a diameter of 27.8 millimeters. More than 2.5 million of these coins were minted in 1955. It is important to mention that there are two variants of this coin, one with a security edge and another with a milled edge. Those coins without the security edge are very scarce and quite expensive. Because of the high mintage of these coins, their value is not too high. So let's take a look at the World Coins catalog to have an idea about the official price of these coins. The square shaped one cent is 50 cents in extremely fine condition. The same for the one cent of 1962, the one with the two daggers. The value of the five cents is lower than one dollar in very fine condition, 75 cents to be precise. That's the same value for the 10 cents of 1956, also in very fine condition. The value of the 20 cents is also 75 cents, all this in very fine condition. I have to mention that the 10 and 20 cents were also struck in silver, but they never came into circulation, and they are actually super expensive. We're talking about several thousand dollars here. The value of the 50 cents coin is two and a half dollars in very fine condition, and five dollars in extremely fine condition. And for the variant without the security edge, the value increases to 300 dollars or more, depending on the condition. All these coins were used in Malaya after the independence in 1957, and in Malaysia after its formation in 1963, as well as in Singapore after its independence in 1965. 
1967, these two countries and Brunei ended the common currency arrangement and began issuing their own currencies. However, the Malaya and British Borneo dollar continued to be legal tender until January 1969. Well friends, I hope you liked this video. I'll see you again next week to learn about other interesting coins. And remember, if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.